Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I'm going to be playing through the Gung Ho Collab 3 dungeon in hopes of getting more tickets for the most stamina efficient pie farming. So, you could utilize Ver Double Varroa in solo mode and button your way to victory and have lots of greeds in order to have dungeon boost awakenings, but I have two accounts, and if you have two accounts, self co oping is incredibly fast and easy, and I've kind of built what I'd say is like a relatively bare minimum type team to clear the dungeon. Like, I'm going to use Kaede as one of the leaders for the No Skyfall Clause, just to go faster, and Pixel Woodsy, because why not use this little bloblet of happiness? And the other thing you need to have is something that makes at least rows. You could use a double row maker, you could use a single row maker. I want to use him because of... Yeah, that's the reason why I want to use this guy, just for this reason. And then just something with lots of VDP damage that also can have an attacker killer inherited just to ensure it's going to die. But at the same time, it's going to die anyways because you trigger Kaede's full leader skill. And other than that, it's just a bunch of Zeus Dioses. So, like, this is exceptionally low investment, I'd say. And this is worth having. Like, if you have two accounts, you should be doing these types of things because it will save you time. So, another thing you want to have, sorry, is a little button. So, I just use regular raw. Regular raw can button that floor. Not hard to overcome. So, you want a regular, you want a, like, a raw, like, lower evolved raw, bunch of Zeus Dioses, at least one row maker or a double row maker, and something of VDP. And I put an attacker killer, but it's probably not necessary when I think about it. So, it's a lot of just swiping your way through, and... The reason why you want to play this dungeon is because the drops that occur from here will give you the ability to monster exchange for pies, and I get approximately maybe like 17 to 20 pies for a bar of stamina per account. Per account is the key. Because, in theory, let's say if Mantastic needs more pies, I can steal from Fantastic. So this is like the only hard floor where you might have to do a little bit of thinking. So if you have Enola, I use Enola normally because it's a much cleaner solution. But have a Zeus Dios. Use your Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, Scream with yourself at the screen and bam, look at that. Everything fully activates technically. So I don't even need the attacker killer when I think about it because Astaroth will deal like big damage. But maybe, maybe I do, maybe I don't. Either way. We get to go to the last floor, and then it's a matter of just swiping away. So, this is not meant to be a hard dungeon. The difficult part, quote-unquote, is just playing it over and over and over and over again, and hopefully not getting sick and tired of it. But, if you can make a team that's relatively low investment like this, it's not too bad, and it's quite mindless. It's like under a minute and a half per clear, I'd say, with if you're like trying, but you can be doing this while watching TV or whatever you want. Like You can easily be distracted in doing this. So the idea is you will take these tickets and you will monster exchange them. And you'll build up the tickets from silver to gold. I farmed this a bit last night. And then bam, I have 36, oh sorry, I have 17 gold tickets. So that means I could potentially snag myself pies. So like each ticket will give me one pie. So I'm low on blue peas, so I can just get 17 of them right now. So I get almost one pie per run, almost, but a bit more. Any gold ticket is one pie. So this is what you should be spending your stamina on, and use your ability to watch an ad to refill your stamina to keep playing this over and over again. Like I said, for myself, I get maybe like 17 to 20 pies for a bar of stamina. So with a watch box space thing, I'm getting at least 35 pies a day, I'd say. Pretty amazing stuff and relatively low effort. So, again, you can bring relatively low investment teams. If you're playing by yourself, Varroa button teams work. I don't have Varroa. I have two accounts, so I like to use Zeus Dios. And the fact that it's Zeus Dios and it's 2021, a large number of people have Zeus Dioses already. Either way, hopefully all have a fantastic day. I wish you all the best luck in your own pad adventures. And here's the raw I was talking about. Happy puzzling.